Hi everybody, happy Thursday, Mr. Lion here. Today I've brought out my banjo, tuned it up, got it ready to show you. So a banjo, as you probably know, is part of the string family. It's plucked like a guitar or strummed. What makes it really interesting is that its resonating body is really a drum. This is a drum head right here. You don't hit it, but the way it vibrates really affects the sound. Uh, and the shape and the body and the tuning of the strings and everything gives it its unique sound. So it has four main strings and many banjos have a fifth string, which is much shorter. And even though it's way here, closest to me, it's the highest string. What's great about the banjo is the standard tuning is already a nice chord. It's a G chord, Do, Mi, So, Do. Right, so when I bring out my banjo, I like to do uh, folk songs, right? So some that you might remember, I was just practicing a little bit of this one. Old Joe Clark, he had a house 16 stories high. And every story in that house was filled with chicken pie. Round and round, old Joe Clark, round and round I say. Round and round, old Joe Clark ain't got much to say. Finger picking is very popular on the banjo. I'm not great at it, but I've been practicing a little bit. I went down to Joe Clark's house, never been before. Joe slept on the feather bed, and I slept on the floor. Round and round, old Joe Clark, round and round I say. Round and round, old Joe Clark, ain't got much to say. So a lot of times we associate the banjo with um, country music and bluegrass, and that's all true, but uh, banjo really has African roots, which uh, is interesting. So... Let's see, one more. I have one more folk song I like to do on banjo. This is one that I bet you all remember from class this year. Uh... I know a girl that you don't know, little Liza Jane. Way down south from Baltimore, little Liza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. Kitchen with her feet in the hall, little Liza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. All right, so both those songs are in A B form. When we sang them this year, we talked about that. Two different sections, verse and chorus or refrain. And remember, you can make up your own verses, they're folk songs. So uh, go ahead, sing those whole songs with your family. Make up some verses. But today I want to move on to this guy right here. His name is Pete Seeger. He's a very famous folk singer. Here's a record I have of his greatest hits. And uh, it's very important in our country's history of folk music. And he is holding a guitar here, and he's a great guitarist. You can check out some of the other videos on this uh, page here. But there is a banjo on the ground behind him. And especially in his later years, he was known for having his banjo, his old banjo he had with him everywhere. Okay, so um, like I said, he was a folk singer. And the word folk means people. And pretty much all the music we do in class is some sort of folk music. Um, American folk music or the folk music of another country. And folk music is all about bringing people together, sharing music with each other. So a lot of times we don't even know who first sang a song. It's just been passed down between families and friends and, you know, sitting around the campfire or uh, over Zoom conference calls maybe. 
and uh, Pete Seeger was all about bringing people together and uh, supporting people. So let's do one of my favorite songs of his. It's called If I Had a Hammer. And uh, I don't have a hammer with me right now. All I have is this gourd. I like to do this song with maracas because in the song we sing about a hammer, a bell, and a song to sing. So I like to use it as a microphone. So maybe you have a maraca or uh, any object that you want to use. That's sort of the whole point of the song. It doesn't matter what your tool is, what you have, uh, you can use it and make a difference. So uh, the song goes like this. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I'd hammer in the evening all over this land. I'd hammer out danger. I'd hammer out a warning. I'd hammer out love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. So you can hammer to the beat while we sing that. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I'd hammer in the evening all over this land. I'd hammer out danger. I'd hammer out a warning. I'd hammer out love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. Sorry if this song's a little bit <clears throat> lower for your voices. You can sing it way up high the octave or um, check out some of the recordings and versions and sing along with those. This is the way I have to play it on my banjo. Okay, but then the second verse, if I had a bell, I'd ring it in the morning. So you can ring your bell. I'd ring out danger, I'd ring out a warning, I'd ring out love between my brothers and my sisters. And finally, if I had a song to sing, I'd sing it in the morning. And then the final verse puts it all together. Well, I got a hammer, and I got a bell, and I've got a song to sing all over this land. It's the hammer of justice. You know, you ever seen a judge with their gavel? Justice meaning uh, that everyone gets what they deserve whether it's uh, a good thing or, you know, punishment for doing something wrong. Justice. It's the hammer of justice. It's the bell of freedom. Ring out freedom. Let freedom ring. Right? Like the Liberty Bell. <clears throat> and, of course, it's a song about love between our brothers and our sisters. And that doesn't actually mean just your brothers and your sisters. Pete Seeger considered everyone to be his brothers and his sisters. All right, let's sing it here. I'm going to sing it on banjo. Do my best. Sing along with me. If you want to stop and listen to the song so you know it a little bit or come back to this to sing with me, please do. If I had a hammer. If I had a hammer. All over this land I'd hammer out danger I'd hammer out a warning I'd hammer out love Between my brothers and my sisters All over this land <clears throat> Excuse me If I had If I had a bell I'd ring it in the morning, I'd ring it in the evening, all over this land. I'd ring out danger, I'd ring out a warning, I'd ring out love between my brothers and my sisters. this land I'd sing out danger I'd sing out a warning I'd sing out love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land well I got a hammer and I got a bell and 
And I got a song to sing all over this land. It's the hammer of justice. It's the bell of freedom. It's a song about love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. So that's if I had a hammer. <sighs> and uh, man, I really miss Pete Seeger. Anyway, let's see. What can you do? What is your hammer? Right? So the meaning of that song, uh, the hammer's just a tool, right? It's what we choose to do with it that really gives it its purpose. It doesn't do it on its own. And it doesn't even matter what tool you have or what talent you have, you can make a difference in the world. So think about what your hammer is, what your tool is, what your talent is, and work on it. Use it every day, all day, to bring people together. Right? That's the meaning of the song. So a little bit more Pete Seeger. There's some videos down below. And one of him playing a 12-string guitar when he was uh, younger. And um, one of him playing the banjo in his later years singing a really meaningful song um, with the line something like, when these fingers are too old to strum anymore, hand off the banjo uh, to, the, to the young ones. He really believed in uh, kids, you guys being the future. It's also a book reading, Abi Yo-Yo. So he loved folk music of the world, of everyone. So he really liked um, Caribbean and Latin music. Right, he sings Guantanamera from Latin America and um, what else? away And uh, this one, Abiyoyo, is a little song and story from Africa. So he adapted the story. You can listen to it. The link's in the folder there. Listen to him. It's actually so important. It made it onto his greatest hits record here. Uh, or you can click on the video and do the book reading. But in some ways, uh, you know, he didn't first tell it as a book. These stories are just told. So maybe you close your eyes and you use your imagination. But the book reading is cool too. Ah, be yo yo. Ah, be yo yo. Ah, be yo yo. So that's a folktale from Africa. <clears throat> but um, he really also liked. Uh, civil rights music stood up for people's rights and liked a lot of um, blues and spirituals and gospel and all sorts of genres from the folk music of our whole country. All right, you can see him singing, This Land is Your Land down below. He didn't write that one. Like a lot of these folk songs, he wrote a bunch and he shared them, let other people sing them, and he sang some that other people sang. It's about sharing. Okay. So I think we're about out of time here, but I'm going to leave you and give Pete the last word. Uh, he tells a little story. It's a metaphor. See if you can make any sense of it and check out the videos and the, the links here in this document. I hope everyone's doing well. I will talk to you again soon. And here it is, Pete Seeger with the last word. Imagine a big seesaw. And one end is on the ground because it's got a basket of rocks in it, big rocks. The other end is up in the air because it's only one quarter full of sand. And some of us have got teaspoons and we're trying to fill it. Most people are laughing at us. They say, oh, people like you've been trying for thousands of years, but it's leaking out of that basket. Uh, you're wasting your time. But we say, we're getting more people with teaspoons all the time. And we think one of these days that basket's going to be so full you'll see that whole seesaw go zoop in the other direction. Of course, I thought of something new. It is leaking out, and we have to keep putting teaspoons of sand in it and never stop, <laughs> or else it'll go back the other direction again. <laughs>